We are going to get started. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday morning, and here we are at McCullough Homes uh, for a beautiful, beautiful event. Uh, we are going to rededicate the two statues behind us here, uh, the young boy and the young girl. And uh, there's, a, there's a long history here. It goes back uh, 70 years or more. And uh, the history of the repairs go back a ways, too. And I know that uh, June, June Johnson here is uh, the person who persevered meeting after meeting. And I know Chairman Smith uh, recalls the impassioned uh, uh, speeches that she made about uh, a, 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 a priceless resource that we were losing uh, as these uh, beautiful statues were deteriorating. So she fought the good fight, uh, uh, worked with our folk, our technical folks. Uh, I see Charlie Aquavella out there and his team. Uh, uh, worked with uh, the historic uh, preservation folks, uh, Kathleen Katarba and her folks, and uh, were able to find uh, someone who had the technical expertise along with getting some grant money to, to make it happen. So we're here today to celebrate uh, that long, long journey uh, from a state of disrepair and deterioration to the fully refurbished uh, statues that we see behind us here. So I'm very, very pleased to be here. I wanted to acknowledge a few people uh, who are here. Uh, you'll be hearing from the mayor in just a minute, uh, Council President uh, Bernard Jack Young, who's been a supporter uh, of this project uh, forever, I know, and Councilman Bill Cole, who likewise has been very supportive, uh, uh, the deputy uh, at the uh, Housing Department, uh, uh, HABC, is uh, Anthony Scott, to my left, uh, uh, and I mentioned Charlie Aquavella, uh, who really, uh, he and his team just did such a great job uh, looking at the uh, technical aspects and, and identifying uh, with uh, CHAP uh, the technical uh, folks who could, could make these repairs. Uh, uh, Rhonda Van Dyke, who's the manager here at McCullough, I want to thank her for being here. Uh, Ms. Broadway, who's the RAB president. Where is Ella? Way there in the back. Hey, Ella, you're, all, you're ever present. I want to thank Ella for her leadership. Uh, Steve Taddy, who is the uh, uh, restorer. Now, I haven't met him yet, but where is he? Steve, raise your hand. Great, right, Steve. Yeah, you should be up here, Steve. You're, you're, the, you're, the, uh, you're the artiste here who um, made this happen, so uh, we appreciate your fine work. I want to also acknowledge uh, 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 Kim Washington, my chief of staff, is way back there. Uh, Julie Day is up there somewhere, deputy commissioner for land resources. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Scriber, where did he go? He was right behind, right behind me, right behind the mayor there. Uh, and uh, certainly the man who heard, who consistently heard the speeches and the impassioned uh, uh, appeals uh, and, and uh, has uh, been such a wonderful leader of the Housing Authority, uh, and I want to thank him here, uh, is uh, Chairman uh, Joseph Smith, uh, has uh, came off his vacation here actually to be here today because uh, he, has, he has really um, uh, been dedicated to solving the problem of this, these deteriorating statues. So uh, we're very excited to have him here as well. Um, and I want to thank uh, June, as I mentioned, for being the, the biggest and, and, and best advocate, but also Monica Yates. Uh, uh, Monique, I'm sorry. Monique Yates. Uh, we got a Monica uh, as well. Uh, <laughs> Monica Watkins back there, uh, who is our energy person, but um, in this case we needed uh, a, a different kind of energy and the two of you really uh, fought the good fight here, Monique, so thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, I am going to now, uh, without further ado, uh, ask the mayor to come up and reflect upon uh, this uh, uh, occasion and the significance of what we're doing here today. Um, you know, for some, this might seem like a relatively small project. It's $80,000, I believe, um, but it's priceless. Uh, the history that's represented here is priceless. And uh, uh, our leader, Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, um, is a person who understands that it's all kinds of things, big and small, that uh, make communities and help to uh, 
uh, preserved community. So without further ado, I'll ask the mayor to come forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for your introduction. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. I particularly want to thank uh, our City Council President, Bernard Jack Young, and uh, City Councilman uh, Bill Cole. I can't tell you how much I appreciate uh, their leadership and their willingness to work with me uh, to strengthen our neighborhoods and all of Baltimore's neighborhoods. I know that I, I begged them to be a part of the program, but it's hot out here. They said they didn't want to add to the program, but I just wanted you to know from me how, how valuable they are as leaders in city government. It, it's important uh, to have partners that understand what neighborhoods mean and uh, what the symbols of uh, neighborhoods mean, mean to our residents and what message it sends to the rest of the city and they get it and I'm very pleased that they are both here for me. It's a great day as we celebrate, you know, we're here to celebrate the uh, restoration of the statues but really we are, are celebrating the, the, the faith and the tenacity of the residents in uh, McCullough Homes. You know, today we are celebrating these statues. I want to thank Ms. June Johnson for bringing this project to fruition and I want to thank Monique Yates for her leadership on the tenants Council, so proud uh, of your work, and Miss June. I always say to to Miss Ella, we need people to stay honest to make sure that we're doing right uh, by the people in our public housing. And Miss June, you did just that. So thank you very much for your tenacity. And I want to thank uh, Kathleen Katorba uh, with CHAP. Your support has been tremendous. We couldn't have done it without the support of CHAP. And I also want to thank. Uh, the, um, I want to thank my housing commissioner and uh, the deputy executive Anthony, director uh, Anthony Scott for your continued uh, leadership. So it's good to be here to celebrate uh, such beautiful Baltimore icons. I applaud again Ms. June, Monique, and Kathleen for doing something that ultimately preserved our history. Too many times we see a challenge, we recognize its difficulty, and we walk away. Some people don't give a second thought about things changing for better, for worse, or what might be lost in the process, but these women cared and they acted. You didn't know where the money would come from and many said that restoring the statue was a lost cause. You did not lose hope. Ms. Yates, Ms. Johnson, and members of this community decided to show their resolve, their commitment, and make it happen. While the new statue was restored in December, today we celebrate you and your tenacity. You simply wouldn't give up. You set an exa amazing example for others in your community to follow. And if every community would show the same commitment to their neighborhood, our goal of growing Baltimore would be that much easier. We know uh, in order for us to, to continue to grow Baltimore, we have to keep our neighborhood safe. And I want to thank all of the, the residents of Tenant Council for working with us in partnership to keep our neighborhoods uh, safe. We know that we, the struggle is not over. Uh, we know that too many of us mean to do harm uh, to our communities. And we know that with your help and with your support, uh, we can identify those people and make sure that our, our communities are preserved for those who want the best for Baltimore and the best for Baltimore's neighborhoods. So again, I want to thank you all. Uh, each and every resident of McCullough Homes, CHAP, the Baltimore Housing staff for making today possible. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you very much, Mayor, and I, I do uh, always appreciate uh, your coming to events like this because uh, it, it sends out a very strong message that um, you understand, as I said, uh, the, that, that it's the details, it's the big and little things that, uh, that make communities. And we're certainly here today celebrating uh, that fact. Uh, now, Mr. President, I'll give you one more shot. You should, okay. And Councilman. Uh, okay. Gentlemen, thank you again for your support. Uh, I'm going to ask um, uh, Kathleen Katarba, uh, who is the Chief of Historical and uh, Architectural Preservation uh, at, at, at CHAP, as it's commonly known, and uh, in the Planning Department. And I know we didn't have to work very hard to convince her that this was a worthwhile project because she fights hard every day to preserve uh, the treasures of this city. So I'd like to ask Kathleen to come up and reflect a little as well. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Commissioner. Madam Mayor, I really appreciate your kind words. Nothing makes me happier, nothing makes CHAP happier than to be able to restore a community monument, a community landmark that is so wonderful and so representative of care and thoughtful design and of the community. And th this has been a true partnership that's been a, quite a pleasure to work with Ms. Johnson, Ms. Yates, and the entire uh, McCullough Homes uh, community. And I want to um, just have a very special thank you to Stephen Taddy, our conservator, who's hiding back there somewhere. Where is he? Where's Stephen? <laughs> Come on up here. And, um, and Stephen's team, um, uh, Paul Crump and Justin Quash are here today. And uh, these gentlemen are the best. They're the, the very best. And the beautiful sculpture of McCullough Homes deserves the best. When the McCullough Homes were designed, they were, they were one of the first um, housing projects in the city of Baltimore. And the architect for the project, a, a Mr. Minor, wanted for there to be some special gateway sculpture. And this is what we have. And I think that Ms. Johnson said this, uh, it, it, uh, the, the beauty of the sculpture really reflects a sense of care about the community. A um, couple other people I, I, I would like to thank. It's been a pleasure to work together with Charlie on the, Aquavella on this project and many others. And Sandy Sparks, who's here. Sandy and Cindy Kelly uh, created an Adopt a Monument program. Uh, this particular uh, project was funded by the city of Baltimore, but we're able to do so much more to care for city monuments because of the work of Sandy and Cindy who've established an adopt a monument program to support our other activities. And I'd like to have a, a shout out to Steve Allen from the Maryland Department of Planning, uh, <laughs> who was uh, very involved in this project at, it, at its earliest inception. Um, so with that, um, we, we can't do this without the, the support of the city council. And we, we thank you, Mr. President, Mr. Councilman, and the housing department, the housing commissioner, and his wonderful team, and uh, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. So thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you very much, Kathleen, and for uh, pointing out all the other members of the team. It's truly a team effort. Um, hey, Anita, I forgot to call you out there. Where's Anita Chavis? She's the one who keeps track of the money once, oh, yeah. once it's out there. So she's very much part of that as, for this as well. So um, I'm now going to ask the uh, resident leadership uh, to come on up here. Uh, Monique Yates first, uh, who is the, town, uh, the tenant council president at McCullough Homes. And then we'll hear from June Johnson, who will give us uh, the final word, since she gave us the first word on this project. <laughs> so uh, Monique. Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Thank everyone for coming out, especially the elected officials and those that are appointed. We don't see you guys here much. So we have meetings every third Wednesday of the month at 4 o'clock. Please stop by, hear some more about what's going on. Um, as far as the recreation of the statues, we appreciate it. It also constitutes us as being a landmark for being historical. So that gives us an opportunity to approach a lot of different things a lot of different ways, and we will do so after this. Um, I wanted to thank all of the residents, and especially Ms. Johnson, yeah. for being diligent and meticulous on this project, yeah. and we shall do more. Everybody have a great day. Thank you again, uh, Monique. And June, I think uh, Joe Smith should stand beside you because you made this speech to him so many times. Uh, Mr. Chairman, do you want to stand over here and uh, yeah, sure. listen to... Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe June wants to rep uh, report back to you on the no, progress. She's not asking me again. <laughs> not asking you again. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And thanks for coming out. Thanks for understanding why I'm standing here. Because those statues mean a lot to me. I don't know about anyone else, but they're my babies. <laughs> and I've always said that they are my babies. And when they took them down, I was here. And when I put them back up, I was here. And I enjoy walking by or riding by and seeing them. And everyone that I don't know 
that doesn't know about the statues, I have to make some sort of remark about, aren't they beautiful? And I'd like to thank everyone who participated in helping me to do this job. I can't call names because I'm too young now to remember everyone. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, God. Thank you very much, June. I should probably ask Joe to, uh, to, to br bring this meeting to a close, but uh, he does that so well. You want to say something, Joe? Let me just say that I am uh, very pleased to be here because I remember the first meeting where Ms. Johnson brought the subject up and we didn't really know what she was talking about. But over time, we came to really appreciate the importance of her effort and the importance of restoring the statues uh, for this community and for the city. I want to thank the elected officials and commissioner and everybody who participated in this.